Okay guys, as you guessed, I am starting out with some drumsticks going straight into my air fryer. Then I'm gonna come in with some extra virgin olive oil and you're just gonna give these guys a good coating, perfect, just like that. And you kinda wanna toss it around a little bit. These have been patted dry and my hands have been washed, so fear not. So once you get that, it's gonna be nice and oiled up on all sides, perfect. Now, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of Himalayan fine sea salt. I'm not gonna use the hand that I went and touched the chicken with, but I'm gonna open it up. Pour a little bit of that, boom, boom, boom. I like it there, it'll cook nice. And again, just kinda toss it around, perfect. Just like that, get these last three, get a little coating of the salt, perfect. So now that those have been done, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. And then we're gonna turn her on right here. We're gonna set it at 350 degrees and let it cook for about Can anyone guess what I'm gonna be making with this mashed up cream cheese? Mm. I've never seen this before. Cream cheese as a base as your layer. Base. Interesting. This is the ultimate comfort food. That looks amazing. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's all spread out. You'll put it all across your pan. Now for the good stuff. Who doesn't love some canned chili? Ooh. Gotta stir it in. And that's just going right on top of the cream cheese. You're not mixing it. No mixing. This oh. will be the easiest dish you've ever made. Mm. I cannot wait to see what you're making. I am so intrigued. If you guys do football parties, you're gonna love this. Ooh, I love football snacks. So game on, show me what we're making. <laughs> now spread that all over the top Ooh. of your cream cheese. Yum. So good. Oh, that chili smells delightful. Fan favorite. You gotta add the cheese. Oh yes. Some shredded. So I'm guessing this is like an appetizer. That's exactly what it is. Ooh. Yeah, load up that cheese. Ooh, this looks so good. Just spread out the cheese over the chili. Alright. Are your mouths watering yet? Mine is. <laughs> All right, <gasps> look at that layer. Ooh, let me see, oh, wow. That's it, this is all we're doing? That's all you do, you put it in the oven for a nice broil for probably about five minutes. So now that you can see we started with some cheese, I went with some sharp cheddar because I think that's gonna really make this recipe great. We're gonna come in with some already cut tomatoes. And yes, my hands have been cleaned. So you're gonna stick that right on top of the cheese. Doesn't have to be pretty, but you wanna go ahead and just plop a nicely cut tomato inside. Perfect. It's looking good already. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. So once you have all of your tomatoes set, you're going to come in with a little bit of salt. I like Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever salt you'd like. Perfect. 
a little bit of black pepper. And now this might throw some of you off, but we're gonna come in with a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch dip for a, a little add-on. And I'm just gonna put a little dash of it in each of these. Add a nice little tank. Oh yes, this is gonna be so yummy. Perfect. So once you've gotten a little bit of seasoning in each of these, we're gonna go ahead and bring back the sharp cheddar and add a nice top coating. Make sure that your tomato is good and covered just like that. This is gonna be your topping. So you wanna make sure that it is nice and full. Yes, this is the perfect dish for cheese lovers. And if you've ever had a fried green tomato, that is going to be the most similar thing I can compare this to. Okay, and our last one is nice and covered. Perfect. So now just make sure all your cheese is tossed in the inside. Perfect. So now make sure your oven is set at 350 degrees and just go ahead and watch, because every oven is different. Make sure that your cheese gets a little bit bubbly and nice and melted, and then you can pull it out. About 15 minutes, and then we'll check back in. And let's check on these little beauties, see what we're working with. Oh my God, look at how pretty that is looking. We're not making any basic chicken wings, though. We're gonna add some barbecue sauce. Give these a nice little squirt on here. Oh yeah, that looking good. And then we're gonna come in with some A1 sauce. Yes, folks, you don't only have to put this on your steaks. A little bit of uh, honey for your honey. Put a little bit of that on each of these, perfect. Yum. So good. A little bit of ketchup. This is pretty much like your kitchen sink to um, chicken wings. Then we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic in here. Oh, my garlic was excited to get out of here. We're just gonna pop a little bit of that out there. Perfect. All right, yes, my hands have been washed for this in here. A little bit of yellow mustard. Last but not least, we're gonna come in with a little cracked pepper. Get all of those pieces nice and saturated. And then what we're gonna do is come in and just kinda make sure all of it's wrapped on around one of them. They gotta smear it around a little bit. Toss it up. Oh my God, this smells so good. I've never seen these flavors mixed together before. All right? Have you ever smelt the barbecue coming out of a McDonald's little packet? Yeah. And it smells so good. That's what this little barbecue packet smells like to me. All right. So now that that is all ready, look at how juicy those look. We're gonna pop these back in here. We're gonna let them finish cooking. So we've got our air fryer back on, and we're gonna check back in in about five to 10 minutes. Our, all right, our chicken should be ready, so let's give it a little peek. Oh my God. Wow. Looks so That good. looks delicious. Let's snag one of these guys. Ooh. Oh, look at that. So evenly Perfectly done. cooked. That looks like a bomb piece of chicken if Ooh. I've ever seen one. Let's see what it tastes like in the inside. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's perfectly cooked. <gasps> and let's see what we got. Ooh. <gasps> 
All right, the cheese is nicely boiled. Wow. And we are ready to dive on in. So I like to pair this dip with some Fritos. Perfect. Try and get the scoops because it'll be easier to pick things up. Oh, so you just pour it right on top. Pour it right on top. Ready Less to rip dishes. and dip. Yep. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, that cheese. So good. Mm. You got me. I hope you're ready for game day. Okay, now that our nice cheesy bites are ready, we've let them cool for a second. Um, we're gonna come in with a paper towel and you're just gonna wanna blot off the tops of these a little bit from the cheese and all of the juices from the tomatoes. So it doesn't have to be anything crazy because this is gonna be a little bit of a greasy meal or appetizer rather, but that is tasty. Okay, so once you get a little bit of blotting done, you're gonna come in with your plate, and I'm gonna use a spoon to get these little guys out of here. And you're just gonna scoop it out. There you have it, my friends. Look at how nicely done these cheese tomatoes are. Oh, that smells so good. That nice cheesy little bite. I cannot wait to bite into these. Perfect. Now that we've got those nice and displayed, I can't wait to bite into them. Mmm. That is so good. Yum, yum, yum.